Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. My goodness, I can't believe it's our second week in remote teaching, distance learning. I hope all you guys had a great Easter, and I hope you guys had a great day off yesterday from, from school, Ms. Mrs. Blanche's online school. Anyway, um, I'm so happy to see you guys again. And we're already on unit nine, lesson or week two already. And this week, we have some new vocabulary words and some new sight words. Our first new sight word is has, and our second new sight word is play. Very good, and I know all of you guys know that one, all those two already, because we've been practicing those before we went on spring break. Good job. We're gonna look at over our digraphs. Very good, this time you guys say it. Very good, I know you guys know all those digraphs. Excellent, so we're gonna read the, um, the words. All of the words either start with the digraph or end with the digraph today. Here we go, this time you're gonna do it first. Very good, now it's my turn, read me guys. Shh, it, k, ship, good job. You guys get it? Good job. Huh. Ah. Pat. And our last one. Good job. Sit together. Shh. Ah. Hmm. Chum. Good job. A chum is kind of like a friend. Say, oh, you are my chum. Okay, so boys and girls, along with our new sight words, we also have our new vocabulary words for this week. And the first vocabulary word is halt. Let's put the picture. Hmm, it looks like she's pulling a wagon and that's exactly what halt is. Halt is pulling or dragging something. So we'll be listening for that word in our reading selections this week. Our next vocabulary word is respect. Oh, and we all know what respect is, right boys and girls? We always have somebody who gets the award for respect every month, the student of the month. And respect, that's right, that's right, Joshua. Respect means treat others the way you want to be treated. Good job. Okay, then our next one is tidy. Tidy. Tidy means to be neat and organized and put everything in its place. Yes, you knew that, right, Caitlin? Good job. All right. Our next word is necessary. Can anybody tell me what necessary is? Amelia, you wanna tell me what necessary is? Good job, yes. Necessary means something that needs to, be, to happen or get done. So it's necessary for the lady to pay the cashier clerk in order for her to take her groceries out of the store. That's necessary, good job. Okay, and then our last word, Mackenzie, do you know what citizen is? Good job, Mackenzie, yes. Citizen is a person that is part of a community. We have our class community and we have our community where we live. So we all are parts of different uh, communities. So that makes us a citizen of each community. Good job. Okay, let's put these up here so they don't fall over. Okay, all right, boys and girls. Before we get to our big book, let's do speed round, okay? Say them as fast as you can before I say them, okay? Go. He. Set. With. To. Look. Good. My. Do. Come. Where? Does here I R A me what we they this can to see the you want like. Of them 
use your hand if you got all of them right, you're able to read them. Boys and girls, who was able to read those faster than Miss Blanche? Really good job. And if you weren't, that's okay. That's why we do these every day. You can either try to beat me or repeat what I say. That way you learn them just by looking. Okay, good job. Okay, so boys and girls, let's look at our essential question this week. What do good citizens do? And we know what citizen is because we just learned that citizen is a member of a community. So let's look at this picture. Okay, it reads, we care with an exclamation point. So that means they really care because they are saying that with excitement. And we have to think about this. How are these children being good citizens? Can anybody tell me? Justin, can you tell me by looking at this picture why you think these two kids are being good citizens? Yeah, I bet that's right, Justin. You are looking at what they're holding and they're holding their blue recycling bin. So they are being good citizens by recycling. Very good. Recycle is you put all the life things in a, in a bin and you're able to make them into something new. You're recycling that plastic into making more things that are made out of plastic. You don't ever want to throw plastic in a regular garbage can, right boys and girls? That's right, we want to make sure that we recycle it and we reuse it so that way we keep our earth healthy and safe. And we'll be talking a lot about the earth this week because Earth Day is next week. So we'll be talking a lot about that and how we can be good citizens in keeping our earth green and healthy. Okay, so boys and girls, let's turn the page here. And this week, we are going to be really listening for the letter I, saying I in words, because I see the bossy E, and the I is gonna say I, it's not gonna say it. Just like last week, we were really listening for the letter A to say A. So let's say these words together. Bike, nine, tiger, right, dime, kite. Very good. Did you guys hear all the I say I? I did. B, I, k, m, I, t, I, g, r, r, I, t, d, I'm and k I I heard all those eyes in those words. So now let's read them together. I'm gonna zoom in really good if we can and let's read these together. So you're gonna read first and then I'll read it after. Very good. D I'm dime. Good job. M I O. Mile. Good job. Side. Side. Good job. P I P pipe. Excellent. Woo. I P wipe. Pine, pine. Good job, boys and girls. Did you do a good job reading those all by yourselves before Mrs. Blanche blending those sounds? Good job. I know you guys are doing an excellent job doing that. Okay, so let's read some of these sentences we have with our new sight words. We have the sight word. What is it, everybody? Good job, play. And our second sight word is excellent pass. Let's read this together. Oh, I see a bossy E, so that I is gonna say I. Mm, Ike, Mike, and I play a, another boss E, G, aim, game. Your turn. Excellent, good job. Mike and I play a game. Okay, let's read the bottom one here. My class, oh, you know that word, has a, read this one. Good job, pet. My class has a pet. Cat class is so lucky to have a turtle as a pet. But we don't, we do not have a turtle in our class, but that's okay. All right, so boys and girls, today we are going to be reading a story.
story that you guys don't have in your packet, okay? But Mrs. Blanche has it for you. So you can reread it as much as you want. And we're gonna really zoom in on this book. Let's see how Mrs. Blanche can do this. Okay. Really? Okay, so we're going to look at this really closely so these words are really big for you. Okay, so we're going to read this together. We all know these sight words. We can play. Your turn. Exclamation point. We read that with excitement. Here you go. Let's see if you guys can read it first. more time for you. Good job. So now we're going to read together. We can not play here. <gasps> Let's look at that picture. Why could they not play here? Anybody see anything that's not okay? Sophia, what do you see? <gasps> Candace can see all that litter. I wouldn't want to play in that park. Get lots of germs from all that garbage lying around. I would not want to play there either. Let's see what happens. We're going to zoom in here and you guys are going to read. Good job. Let's read together. We can help. He has a big sack. <gasps> That's so great, boys and girls. Look what they're doing. So that they're able to play in this park, they're picking up all the litter. They are doing a really good job being very good citizens and making sure their play area is nice and healthy and not around any litter to help them maybe not get sick because litter causes problems, boys and girls. Okay, so let's see the next page. Read it for me. Good job. She has a big sack too. We put the sack in a the in bin. Very good. Now look it. It's all clear of all the trash. Good job. I'll do the last page without ripping my book. And let's do the last page here. Good job. They can play here. Good job. Now they can play because all the litter is picked up. And they were good citizens and cleaned up their area. So we're going to read one more time the whole story together. We can play. We can not play here. We can help. He has a big sack. She has a big sack too. We put the sack in a bin. They can play here. Good job, boys and girls. Thank you for reading with me. I love when you guys read with me. Okay, so boys and girls, today, since I didn't see you yesterday, Monday, and Monday is usually when we write in our journals about what we did over the weekend, you guys are going to write about what you did on Easter. Okay? And I'll write what I did on Easter. So... I'm going to put this up here, and we're going to put that there like that, and let me think about what I did on Easter. Remember, you guys are using a pencil, always use a pencil to write. I'm using a marker so that we're able to see what I write from the camera, okay? Let's see, what did I do on Easter? Oh, we had an egg hunt, so I think that's what I want to write, okay? We, what? Wow. Except the W. 
we, W-E, we, finger space, had, huh, H, huh, ah, A, huh, ah, D, D, make a C, close it up to make a D. We had, finger space, A, finger space, egg, E, G. We had a egg. I don't have much space over there. I'll go down the next line. Hunt. Huh. H. Ah. U. Huh. Um. Ooh, what hit the end in there? Huh. Um. T. Oh, I need a T. We had a egg hunt. Period. And guess what, boys and girls? It was fun because I got to see my son and daughter running all over the place looking for a golden egg. Because guess what? The golden egg had $20 in it. So I might write about that. Um, let's see. What, what should I say about the golden egg? Um, let's see. The finger space golden g o g in egg, and I spell egg because I just wrote it there. Egg, finger space, had, huh, ad, had 20. I wonder if I would remember 20 because we all know how to write that number. Egg had 20 finger space dollar, d, ah, d, ah. The golden egg had twenty dollars in it. Mm. In finger space it it. Period. So then I would draw the grass. I would maybe make some bushes. I'd make a tree. We have a big pine tree in our backyard. Actually, we have like seven big pine trees in our backyard. Okay. And then maybe I'll make the eggs. It's all hidden. Caitlin and Benjamin find the egg so easily. We have to really make sure we hid them maybe in the bushes, up in the tree. Okay, boys and girls, so who what is who is we talking about? What kind of word is that? Is that a pronoun? Talking about people without saying their name? Yeah, so maybe I would draw. Maybe Benjamin over here, Caitlin over here behind the bush. Let's draw Benjamin's hair. And I would draw Caitlin's long hair. They both have brown eyes. And Caitlin would be wearing pink. And Benjamin might be wearing turquoise. Peanuts. And they're happy because they're so excited to find some eggs. Okay, and then we have arms to pick up the eggs, right, boys and girls? So maybe he's on that one. And then her fingers. Maybe she's looking in the bush for the golden egg. So do your best work on what you did on Easter, okay? All right, and maybe um, on Friday, well, Saturday, maybe if that's what you'll be reading to me, I still haven't decided what you'll be reading to me on Friday, but make sure you do your journal writing, boys and girls. Okay, all right, then after you finish that, you will be doing 
this activity because it's so fun to see all the beautiful flowers that are popping up in the spring. These are blue words, B-L-U-E, spelled blue. I'm gonna use my turquoise blue. Isn't that the nice spring color? Ooh, what word is that? Zoom in on that. That one's a tricky one. We know it starts with B. There's lots of color words that start with B, but it's not blue. It's black, because you see the CK at the end there. So we use that part, black. We need shade in black. We don't color too hard. Oh, what color word starts with O? Who can tell me? Jaden, what word starts with O? That's a color word. Good job, Jaden. Orange. We could have a dog outside of this orange. You would love me to. You like working out? Okay, you're gonna do your best work and color that whole picture in. We know our color words. And maybe you could do that to your mom or your dad. Okay, make sure you write your name. All right, so you'll finish that whole thing on your own. And then for our sight word today, I can lift this up. And let me see, I'm reusing the tape. It's good to reuse. We'll be learning all about reusing things for Earth Day. Okay, what word did that everybody? Has. Good job. And let's spell has together. Let me find my pencil. Oh boy, here it is. All right, H-A-S, has, H-A-S, has, three go, H-A-S, has, H-A-S, has, H-A-S, has, H-A-S, has. Oh, now let's read the bottom. My mom has, oh, what kind of sentence can you finish there? Hmm, my mom has what? Friends. My mom has a dog. My mom has flowers. My mom has a egg. My mom has a cake. Whatever you want to say. So I'm going to do it in black marker so you guys can see it. My mom has a... I'm going to say my mom has a... Bug. So you say b, uh, g, period. Okay. After write your set, finish your sentence with pencil. Remember, Miss Blanche is using marker, so you can see you're using pencil. Then you're gonna trace all the halves. You can use any color markers you want. Make sure you're staying on that track. Okay. Do your best work. Then when you're done tracing everything, then you draw a picture. So I would draw a picture of my mom. So this is what my mom looks like. Peach skin, she has yellow short hair. Yep, big brown eyes. I know what you guys are thinking. Wait, Mrs. Blanche has a mom? Yes, Mrs. Blanche does have a mom. Okay, she lives very close to me. I can walk to her house. She lives so close to me. Let me move her legs. She's kind of leaning over sideways. Maybe I'll put her in a chair. <sighs> okay, then I have to put a bug in her hand. Because that's what my sentence says. My mom has a bug. So maybe I will draw a ladybug. There's this ladybug. Um, there. So let's read it. My mom has a bug. And there she is. And she has a bug. So it's your best work, boys and girls. Remember, you don't, you don't, you're not doing this when Mrs. Blanche is doing. I'm just modeling, and when I'm done, then you guys can get started on your work. Okay. Okay. So that's about it. And let's see. I guess I will see you tomorrow, okay? And I can't wait to zoom in with you on Friday. And I guess have a great night. And I will talk to you soon. And if you guys wanna see one of the stories um, that are animated, that I sent in the link with your moms and dads on the YouTube link, it is also in there. So you can listen to another story if you'd like. Don't forget to do your homework and practice those uh, spelling words for our spelling test on Friday, okay? 
Alright guys, I'll see you tomorrow.